Yo, 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 welcome. I'm going to show you guys today um, something about Excel, which I think is quite important because most of the students, most of the Queensland um, school students will use Excel to complete part of their math assignment or maybe even physics assignment. And it's related to making graphs. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you will know how to make a graph on Excel, right? And then, um, but what I'm what I'm going to focus today is the trend line on the graph. Uh, a, a trend line is a function or a model that models the data, or an equation that models the data. And most um, some teacher would say um, Excel is not accurate and and blah blah blah. And I just want to show you guys how to eliminate that 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 inaccuracy by using some of the features on Excel to make your Excel model or Excel trend line much more reliable and can be used for your assignment. All right. Just as always, before we start, you know, at this, you know, when you're learning and stuff, let's turn some BGM, BGM ones. All right, shall we? All right, let's go. Okay, so first we have to come up with data. All right, so Let's go one, two, three, four. And by now, the Excel would recognize as there's a particular trend here. So all I need to do is just click on this and drag it down. Let's say to 30 we we'll do. So that will give us one to 30. All right, on the other side, we will, we will do some um, next, um, we'll do some other, the other set of um, patterns. Uh, Okay, so by now Excel should recognize every step, every time we're going up by two. So let's do the same thing. Right, okay. Now, remember, whenever you're trying to make a graph or make a, um, make a, make a, make a graph out of two set of data, two columns of data, your, your data on your left, well, which is on the left column, would be your x-axis. Whereas the, the, um, the column on the right will be your Y axis. So I have deliberately made it this way to, you know, to make the graph stands more obvious. So once we select, once we highlight the old data, we go to insert. And then we go to recommend a chart. So in here, we can, you, we can choose different, different types of chart or, or graph. So I usually choose, you know, the simple one, the dot one, scatter. All right, here comes the scatter graph. Great, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a trend line. So to add a trend line, we're going to plus here, the plus here, and then this trend line here. So we add it, and once we add it, we go, um, we click on a little arrow here, we're going more option, we'll, and this will bring up a window next um, on the right. Okay, and then we can choose different um, models or different function to to models our, our data, you know, linear, whatever, linear, logarithmic, polynomial, your x squared, x cubed, x to the power of 4, and so forth and so on. All right, let's just choose linear because we know it is linear in this case. All right, so uh, one of the most important features about Excel or, you know, useful feature about Excel is it allows you, it allows you to get the equation on the chart, right, which is y equal 2x, and then um, oops, have to go back to there. I've got the function, and then display the R squared value, right? R squared value. So these two are very important features of Excel or useful feature on Excel. Okay, so and every now and then, because Excel do not accept, um, well, Excel usually round things off for you when it comes to um, big numbers. So for example, if I go some number very big here, let's say I go like that yeah and then i go for the same thing so i will copy this first and i will paste here and change it to four right and do the same thing oops change it to six so by now x i should know what i meant so I will highlight this three and drag it on so um, changing the, the the data here will automatically change the graph, yeah, like that. 
Good. Now you see all this e plus um, 1 e plus 11. Now that just means 1 times 10 to the power of 11. All right. And sometimes if you want Excel to show you more decimals, you look at here. If the decimal is no decimal places, it's only showing you the whole, the, the two. So to do to 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 see more numbers out of that, because the why do we want to see more number? Because sometimes when Excel round things off for you, and when you copy that function into another another graphing software, it might not give you what what it looks like on Excel, and then you, you and then you start to think, hey, I didn't get I didn't get what I expected, and that's why some of the teachers say Excel is not accurate. But there's a way to change it. Okay, so once we click on the um, the formula box, we click on the formula box, and we go to this this stat um, label option here. In the in the category, we choose number. All right, and it says here decimal places being displayed is two decimals. I usually change it when it when I when I'm um, when I'm working with big number. I usually change it to above ten or let's say fifteen, and it will show you all fifteen decimals. Or just it show you yeah it shows you that much decimals after the after the um, after this after the whole number after the decimal point so this is a very useful fun um, useful function of Excel that reduces inaccuracy so you can see more numbers and, and Excel doesn't round off things for you anymore so if you put this function onto another graphing software it would give you exactly what Excel give you and that's what most of the students don't know all right, so hopefully that's I mean, that's what I'm going to show you today. That's what I'm planning to teach you guys today. So hopefully you know by now how to um, you know how to change the um, the expression of the of the function on Excel by increasing the number of decimal places they um, the Excel displayed. All right, and hopefully this will help you in your math assignment, making your function more accurate or you know getting you more high marks. All right. I'll see you next time.